a square notch will find its most useful application in beams, floor joists, and roof components. It is a strong and solid notch that will retain its fit and present a good appearance. You should equip your scriber with two pencils. This notch will require a wide double scribe, so set the scriber up carefully. You should have the same scriber setting for each end of the log. One end may be blocked up, or you may use a small first notch to obtain equal measurements at each end of the log. Scribe the top log and the bottom log at the same time. The quality of the final fit will be very dependent on the accuracy of this scribe. Place a level line on each side of the top log at about one half the scribe height. Transfer points from the intersection of the scribe line with the level line to the bottom scribe line. These will be placed at the same scriber setting. Join these pairs of points with a level line. This may also be done after the top log has been removed.
It is a good idea to extend the level line a little beyond the scribe line in order to make a final check of your fit. Measure in 15 or 20 millimeters along this line and join the pairs across the top of the log for the cut line and extend the cut line on down until it meets the scribe line. Score the cut line. This will be the line across the top to the level line on each side. Continue scoring on down to the scribe line, then around the segment of the scribe line between the cut lines. Cut out the segment of wood between the lines only as far down as the level line. Again, make a wider cut on your right hand side so that you can monitor the saw as it cuts through the log. Brush this surface flat and about one eighth of an inch below the level line. Here you see the second line added for clarity only. It could have been placed during the original layout. Measure the 15 or 20 millimeters back at the corners and draw a line for the back of the face cut. Remove the face piece while being careful to maintain an angle of 90 degrees. A common mistake is to undercut this face. Cut only as far as the plumb lines that have been scored. Do both sides and you are ready to begin with the top half of the notch.
The layout is done the same way and the cut will begin the same way, but this time the cut lines stop at the level line. We have also added the 1 8 inch relief at the bottom. Cut the flat and draw in the back of the cut, but now carry this back line up and out to meet the scribe line at a point above the level line. Score the scribe line as far as this back cut and remove the segment. The notch is now complete, but before you replace the top log, check the measurements carefully so that any error may be discovered. Place the top log and you have made a first-rate job of an important notch and at the same time you have made a serviceable garden bench.